welcome. Today we are going to read a story with Paw Patrol called Itty Bitty Kitty Rescue. It was a warm sunny day. Chase and Rubble were having a great time playing catch at the beach when suddenly they heard a far off cry. Meow! Meow! A kitten was clinging to a toy boat out on the water. Uh oh, Rubble cried. That little kitty is in trouble. We need to tell the rider, Chase said. Chase and Rubble raced to the lookout to tell Ryder about the kitty. No job is too big, no pup is too small, declared Ryder. He pushed a button on his pup pad and sounded the Paw Patrol alarm. Minutes later, Marshall, Sky, Rocky and Zuma joined their puppy pals at the lookout. Paw Patrol is ready for action, reported Chase sitting to attention. A kitten is floating out to sea, Ryder announced, pointing to the viewing screen behind him. We have to say the itty bitty kitty, Rubble exclaimed. Then he straightened up and added, I mean, <clears throat> we have to save the kitten. Zuma, your hovercraft is perfect for water rescue, Ryder said. Ready, said, get wet, Zuma barked. And Sky, Ryder continued, I'll need you and your helicopter to help find the kitten quickly. This pup's got to fly, called Sky. Zuma's hovercraft splashed across Adventure Bay. Ryder turned his old turn vehicle into a jet ski and followed. Up above, Sky zoomed through the air. Soon, she spotted a little kitten in the water below. We're here to help you, Ryder told the kitten, easing his jet ski to a stop. But the little kitten jumped from her boat and landed right on Zuma's head. Then the startled pup fell out of the hovercraft and into the water. Zuma yelled, don't touch the zoom. The kitten accidentally hit the throttle and raced off on the hovercraft. The hovercraft zoomed around the bay. Up above, Sky turned this way and that, trying to follow the hovercraft's twisting course. This kitty is making me dizzy, she groaned. Ryder pulled up next to the hovercraft and jumped on board. He stopped the engine and gently picked up the shivering kitten. Everything is all right, he said, pulling a slimy piece of seaweed off the kitten. Let's take it back to dry land and get you clean up. Later that day, Rob skateboarded into Katie Pet Parlor with his new best friend. Ah, whose cute kitty is that? Katie asked. I don't know, Rob explained. We found her on the bay with no color or tags, just this purple ribbon. Does the kitty weedy want a nice warm bath? Rubble asked. Meow, the kitten replied. Do you want me to do it? Katie asked. Cats can be a little tricky to bath. Tricky, Rubble said. Not this little sweetie. But the kitten had other ideas. The moment she touched the water, she jumped away with a screech. The kitten scurried along shelves, splashing water and knocking over bottles of shampoo. Robo slipped on a spinning bottle, then the kitten fell onto Robo's skateboard and rolled out of the door. Down the street from Katie's pet parlor, Ryder got a message from Rocky. A little girl is looking for her lost kitty called Precious. Ryder recognized the kitten in the picture the girl was holding. Before Ryder could say a word, Precious rolled past on Robo's skateboard. She skated down a hill and disappeared into town. Chase, it's time to use your super sniffer, Ryder said. Chase needed something with a kitty scent on it. Luckily, they had her purple ribbon. Chase took a deep sniff. She went that way. Ah, chew! Sorry, cat hair makes me sneeze. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Chase followed the scent until he found Robo's skateboard at the bottom of town hall steps. Go sniffing, Chase, Ryder said. Ryder and the pups looked around and saw a shocking sight. The kitty was inside the town hall's bell tower. Ryder pulled out his pup pad and called for Marshall and his fire truck. I'm all fired up, Marshall said as his fire truck screeched to a halt in front of town hall. Just then, the little kitten's owner arrived too. Ryder told Marshall to put up his ladder. We need to get this kitten down from the tower. I'm on it called Marshall. He extended the truck's ladder and carefully started to climb. 
Marsha reached the top of the ladder. The scared little kitten was clinging desperately to a rope in the tower. Don't worry, Marsha said softly. I'll get you down safely. Come here. Meow, precious whimpered. The kitten jumped from the rope. She tried to grab Marshall's helmet, but missed and clutched his face instead. Whoa! Marshall yelled. He couldn't see a thing. The ladder shook and Marshall lost his grip. Then he and the kitten fell off the ladder. But Ryder caught Marshall and the little kitty tumbled straight into her owner's arms. Precious! the girl exclaimed. I'm so glad you're okay. You owe these brave pups a thank you for all their help. Whenever you need us, Ryder said, just yep for help. The end. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the story. Don't forget to like and subscribe. More interesting stories are coming soon. Bye.